Hey guys, quick unboxing today, really rough edit. I wanted to tell you guys that I will be doing several tests on this, so I wanted your feedback to know what you actually wanted me to test on this, and I will highly consider it. A lot of you really like my battery test on the M1 MacBook Pro from last fall. In real life battery test from, you know, last year. Here we go, let's unbox this thing. So what I thought was really cool is it had this pull tab, this giant pull tab that goes out like that and it opened up really nicely. It's a more tighter packaging than last year's M1 MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro, will base configuration, 512 gigabytes, 14 inch. I know we're not getting this like, CV rolls today, but you guys have seen a lot of unboxings already, so making this one quick. This is the moment. There it is. That is a giant Apple logo. Bigger Apple logo than I'm used to. Okay. It's true. In person, it really does feel different already when you take it out of the box. I like being really neat about this, so. Way better in person, actually. Giant logo though, but way better in person. Wow. Yeah, it does remind me of the, um, even before the unit body, where it, it was black back here, now it's like, now it's all aluminum. Like my, two, my very first MacBook Pro from 2008. Here we go. Very excited, I know it's going to boot up. Okay. Yes. screen, I can get used to that. Wow. MagSafe charger braided cable. Documents, okay, that's boring. 67 watt charger. It actually looks more minimal without the MacBook Pro logo there. I mean, it's just such a small detail, but I actually really don't like the notch on the iPhones, but I don't mind it here at least for now. This keyboard actually feels new. I've gotta say, this looks way better in person than I've been seeing on YouTube. I mean, I'm hoping shooting it on an iPhone will give you a better impression in person because it's more raw. Here are the ports. At first, I didn't think I'd like the Touch ID on this one um, because of, it's just like a circle in the square. I mean, I would rather have it more minimal like it was before on the last MacBook Pro. This keyboard's minimal enough being all black. Touchpad still feels the same. This is just something funny I've noticed transferring data from my old M1 MacBook Pro from last year. Notice they have the old cinema display here. Where's my mouse? Oh. Ooh, I like this wallpaper. The audio is so good, you guys. If you want to see which outfits match with some of these bands, I might already have a style guide for it. So check out my channel. Give this a like if it helps, and subscribe for more. Next up was about Stainless Steel Series 7. Here we go. These are from my. All right, that's pretty much it, you guys. So, what do you think? I need your guys' input on what kind of tests you want to see. Obviously, the battery test is very important, so I will be doing an in-real-life battery test um, within a week's use or possibly more. So I'll put a link somewhere on my past battery test for the last M1 MacBook Pro from last year. And yeah, you guys, it's it. that video did well. I got a lot of good feedback from that, so I will be doing a new one on this. I like this so far. It's much better in person than, than it's been watching YouTube videos. Honestly, I know like, I know the first reviews out, you can really tell. 
I mean, I'm intentionally recording on an iPhone to show you this um, as raw as possible. It's supposed to be heavier than the last MacBook Pro, but um, I do slightly notice a difference, but it's not enough to be a deal breaker. I will have a longer term review on this. Like I'm gonna be carrying it in my backpack to and from the office to see over time if it actually adds weight. You still get the sound with the lid closed. I mean, watching the YouTube videos, it looked really bossy and unattractive on camera. So um, in person, it actually is a lot better. I'm really liking the space gray on this. Uh, people are, I hear people on YouTube gravitating towards silver to be more nostalgic. I don't mind the bossiness actually. They pulled it off real well. My fingerprints are already, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop touching it all over, but that's a nice touch right there. That is a nice touch. The logo, yeah, gotta have that. It definitely feels new, it does. I don't mind it. Well, within a week or more, I'll have to decide if I'm gonna keep this or not. It might be too much power for me. I mean, you know, maybe I just you don't know, need an M1 Pro, I need an M2 next year. So then I can compare it to M1 to M2. But anyway, let me know what you want to see um, tested on this thing, and I will highly consider it. Very exciting. Okay, it's not black up here, so I still notice a notch. I wonder if that will annoy me over time. Will I need a bigger one? Let's see. Very exciting. Okay, very exciting. Thank you for watching. Those are my first impressions. Give this a like for any reason, like if it helped, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Okay.